God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. My God, do not reject my cry for help, assailed as I am by the wicked. O God, listen to my prayer. Do not hide from my pleading. Attend to me in reply. With my cares I cannot rest. I tremble at the shouts of the foe, at the cries of the wicked, for they bring down evil upon me. They assail me with fury. My heart is stricken within me. Death's terror is on me. Trembling and fear fall upon me, and horror overwhelms me. Oh, that I had wings like a dove to fly away and be at rest, so I would escape far away and take refuge in the desert. I would hasten to find a shelter from the raging wind, from the destructive storm, O Lord, and from their plotting tongues. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My God, do, do not, not reject, reject my, my cry for, for help, help, assailed as, as I am, am by the, the wicked. wicked. The Lord himself will free us from hostile and treacherous hands. For I can see nothing but violence and strife in the city. Night and day they patrol, high on the city walls. It is full of wickedness and evil. It is full of sin. Its streets are never free from tyranny and deceit. If this had been done by an enemy, I could bear his taunts. If a rival had risen against me, I could hide from him. But it is you, my own companion, my intimate friend. How close was the friendship between us. We walked together in harmony in the house of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord himself will free, free us from hostile and treacherous hands. And trust your cares to the Lord. He will sustain you. As for me, I will cry to God, and the Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon, I will cry and lament. He will deliver my soul in peace in the attack against me. For those who fight me are many, but he hears my voice. God will hear and will humble them, the eternal judge, for they will not amend their ways. They have no fear of God. The traitor has turned against his friends. He has broken his word. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are naked swords. Entrust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. He will never allow the just man to stumble. But you, O God, will bring them down to the pit of death. Deceitful and bloodthirsty men shall not live half their days. O Lord, I will trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And trust your cares to, to the, the Lord. Lord. He, he will, will sustain, sustain you. The Lord proclaims his word to Jacob. His law and decrees to Israel. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. Awake, awake, arise, O Jerusalem, you who drank at the Lord's hand the cup of his wrath, who drained to the dregs the bowl of staggering. She has no one to guide her of all the sons she bore. She has no one to grasp her by the hand of all the sons she reared. Your misfortunes are double. Who is there to condole with you? Desolation and destruction, famine and sword. Who is there to comfort you? Your sons lie helpless at every street corner, like antelopes in a net. They are filled with the wrath of the Lord, the rebuke of your God. But now hear this, O afflicted one, drunk but not with wine. Thus says the Lord, your master, your God, who defends his people. See, 
I am taking from your hand the cup of staggering. The bowl of my wrath you shall no longer drink. I will put it into the hands of your tormentors, those who ordered you to bow down, that they might walk over you while you offered your back like the ground, like the street for them to walk on. Awake, awake, put on your strength, O Zion. Put on your glorious garments, O Jerusalem, holy city. No longer shall the uncircumcised or the unclean enter you. Shake off the dust, ascend to the throne, Jerusalem. Loose the bonds from your neck, O captive daughter Zion. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your watchmen raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. Cleanse yourselves, sons of Israel, says the Lord, for tomorrow your Lord will come down. And he will take away from you all weaknesses. Tomorrow the wickedness of the earth will be destroyed, and the Savior of the world will rule over us. And he will take away from you all weaknesses. From a sermon by St. Augustine, Bishop. Awake, mankind. For your sake, God has become man. Awake, you who sleep. Rise up from the dead, and Christ will enlighten you. I tell you again, for your sake, God became man. You would have suffered eternal death had he not been born in time. Never would you have been freed from sinful flesh had he not taken on himself the likeness of sinful flesh. You would have suffered everlasting unhappiness had it not been for this mercy. You would never have returned to life had he not shared your death. You would have been lost if he had not hastened to your aid. You would have perished had he not come. Let us then joyfully celebrate the coming of our salvation and redemption. Let us celebrate the festive day on which he who is the great and eternal day came from the great and endless day of eternity into our own short day of time. He has become our justice, our sanctification, our redemption, so that, as it is written, let him who glories glory in the Lord. Truth, then, has arisen from the earth. Christ, who said, I am the truth, was born of a virgin. And justice looked down from heaven, because believing in this newborn child, man is justified not by himself, but by God. Truth has arisen from the earth, because the word was made flesh, and justice looked down from heaven because every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Truth has arisen from the earth, flesh from Mary, and justice looked down from heaven, for man can receive nothing unless it has been given him from heaven. Justified by faith, let us be at peace with God, for justice and peace have embraced one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, for truth has arisen from the earth, through whom we have access to that grace in which we stand, and our boast is in our hope of God's glory. He does not say of our glory, but of God's glory, for justice has not proceeded from us, but has looked down from heaven. Therefore he who glories, let him glory, not in himself, but in the Lord. For this reason, when our Lord was born of the Virgin, the message of the angelic voices was, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. For how could there be peace on earth unless truth has arisen from the earth, that is, unless Christ were born of our flesh? 
and he is our peace who made the two into one, that we might be men of goodwill, sweetly linked by the bond of unity. Let us then rejoice in this grace, so that our glorying may bear witness to our good conscience, by which we glory not in ourselves, but in the Lord. That is why scripture says, He is my glory, the one who lifts up my head. For what greater grace could God have made to dawn on us than to make his only Son become the Son of Man, so that a Son of Man might in his turn become the Son of God? Ask if this were merited. Ask for its reason, for its justification, and see whether you find any other answer but sheer grace. A shoot shall grow from the root of Jesse, and there a flower shall blossom. Justice will be the girdle around his loins, and faithfulness the belt around his waist. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and fortitude. Justice will be the girdle around his loins, and faithfulness the belt around his waist. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, raise us to the joy of your kingdom, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.